December 9th. We have the set date for that, and then Cook will be speaking. Do this kind of thing. I look up 95% confidence interval and see where the one is. You know, if the one is right in the middle, you know. That tells me too much variability in a given population, you know, and it is not significant. All right, so that's, that's, that's the only thing I have importance that, you know, the odds ratio contains one, and not just contains one, but it also is in the middle, you know. Now, the BC, BC that's what I say, it's a very, very economic gene because it's a protein coding gene. It's not irrelevant, okay? It's a protein coding gene. And uh, the important thing is that it does make a complete polypeptide. And these are the authors. They talked about the overexpression of certain genes. You know, so for example, in LWR, the, the small, small, small ones, you know, very, very small, like 25K and smaller tumors, they have excessive expression, you know. And, they are the people who kind of basically nail that down, that there are certain pathways that will overexpress. And that is because, you know, the cell cycle. You have S phase, G phase, various cell division goes through many, many cycles. And certain cell cycles, they are arrested. So you just have an overexpression of these tumors or cancer cells, okay. Whereas this one here, you know, this is a very important uh, paper because they talk about that, you know, if there is a gene like BC, you know, you challenge them because as we see, BC gene is also responsible for monooxidase, uh, you know, enzyme and their uh, scab formation and pathogen resistance. So it has a lot of economic traits in it. Okay, and if you, you know, so, so, if you have a mutant here and you challenge them, you know, it doesn't do well, you know. I mean, under the selection pressure, the tr it shows increased resistance up to 70%, you know, but the moment you remove the selection, well, you know, it doesn't do well. So the question is that why it doesn't do, you know, why it doesn't achieve 100% of the genetic diversity that is present, right? It doesn't do that. Okay, here. All right, what I did that, you know, after looking at that, I said, well, let me do the maximum likelihood because I know this all is, uh, you know, BC gene. These, both of them are divided into two subpopulation. One of them is 25 to 300 case size, and other one is from 300 to 600 size. What is very interesting to me is that the, you know, look at the confidence interval and this one would be totally inside, like an egg in a shell, you know, packed up like that. So that tells me that, okay, well, you know, that's interesting to me, you know, and that, that there's no significant difference because this is a semi-dominant, okay, and this is not, this is recessive. So why it is such a big overlap, you know? To, to, figure, to figure that out, I just went and plotted them out. As we can see, you know, this is LWR, this is BC, at t up to 25K. Everything that is up to 25K is under 25K, and uh, the BC uh, is lot, you know, the frequency is a lot less than the LWR. So the one thing about genetics is that, uh, you know, I mean, in this BC, the, we have BC plus LWR. Both of them are there. But this one does not have a BC in it, just LWR. So if you feel that this is inside this one and it's not complementing, you know, the, the genetic theory that if two genes are not complementing each other, they are alleles of the same gene. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to check it, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to check what happened, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking maximum likelihood that this is the case. In this case, maximum likelihood just give you an estimate of variability without telling you where that variability is coming from. Is that clear? Okay. All right. 
So, so th th that's, the, that's the, as we can see, that I focused on 25K to 300K, you know, because after 300K, the variance was 0 0.02, you know. There is no variability. What you're going to analyze, you know? I wondered the, what is the cumulative effect of sample preparation. That's number one. Number two is that not, you know, usually when there is a person, when there is a person, uh, you know, uh, collecting data, well, that person collects all the data, but in this case, there were multiple PhDs going on and collecting the data, you know? So people differ in their ability to collect difficult data, you know? Yeah, and, and, and I remember first year, you know, I didn't do, you know, I don't think I was doing a good job, but as I learned, I got better. So what well, that is a contribution. We see that this effect was not significant, but this was all always supposed to be at the you know higher exp. What does BS mean here? New BS experiment. Versus. What does that BS stand for? Versus. Oh, versus. <laughs> okay. So, so given all this problem, here we are. You know, this the time number six calm. You know, it loses that. So I'm kind of summarizing you know, in a creative way, that this data is so difficult, and that's why I'm trying to say that I'm trying to really make a sense of this data, you know, having all these problems. Now, black cells, this is a black cell, this is LWR, and as we can see, this is black, semi-dominant, and uh, they are visible very easily, dead crystal cells. These are the, some of the properties they have, okay? And uh, takes time, okay. Now, once you have a data, a lot of people say that if you have a log normal distribution exponential reduction, you should never try regression. Yeah, that's true. But I will always look up the residual plot, okay? Because that is a very good diagnostic tool, you know, with humor and, and psychology and psychosis and whatnot, you know? So that's, that's one of the methods that I applied, and it's a well-published method. Actually, this method is also, I, you know, I mean, I did not find here this year, okay? I found this last year because I was working in retail and I wanted to see, you know, the people, if you reduce the price, what will happen if the people who used to buy a lot are completely, you know, linearly connected to the people who are buying more now, you know? So the, you campaign, the price cut has some effect to it, but, if you take like okay, the relationship is all relationship is all this much, then you can say that the, actually your price cut has no value because more and more power is getting into equation, more and more nonlinearity is going in the equation. Okay, so that is the, that is the thing. So I applied this method. This is a very very published method, and uh, a second method I applied. Sure. On that uh, the, the polynomial equation, how come the constants are all one with the previous value? The no. You will get a value of 7.243. So if you observe value is zero frequency, it could as well be 7.4 or, or 8, you know, because these cancer cells were prepared for eight days. So there is a cumulative effect. We don't know what that cumulative effect is. So the y, y there is similar to the y. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they are not regression equations. These are sort of loads. Yeah, these, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the dynamical simulation or the you know reverse engineering will tell you. You know, if you break apart a car and you will see what system is there, right? You know, so the same thing. You know.